Hi and welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can cut out an object in Photoshop using the pen tool. Now I know the pen tool can be really problematic for people so I try and explain it as simply as possible. So the first thing I'm going to do is just zoom in and then I'm going to select an area to start. Now normally I would start on a straight edge so I'm going to start down here so I'm going to go over and click on the pen tool and then I'm simply going to click down the bottom here and because this is relatively straight I'm going to take it to the top here then there's a slight curve so you can click and just drag out those two handles and we're just going to click up to here and then there's a little curve here so I'm going to click halfway through the curve and just pull those handles out then you can see there's a slight curve on this section here. So I'm going to click down the bottom here at the end of the curve and you can see the line doesn't fit that curve. So I then choose to go halfway along the line, click, hold down my command or control key, click again and move the line to fit that curve. Then I can continue up and again there's a slight curve here so I'll click at the end of the curve and the curve is at the very beginning section here so I'm going to click add a new mark hold down my command or control key click and move it then once again to the end of the section again it's curved click in the middle hold down the command or control key click and move I'm just going to continue on until we get to another section where I can teach you a little bit more. Okay, so here we have a huge curve and there's a slight flat bit here. Now I will take my cursor all the way to the next section here. So I'm going to click there. Then I'm going to click here because you can see the peak of the curve is around about here. So I'm going to click here, hold down my command or control key, click and drag that up to here. And then if any of this section doesn't fit, then I can just click, let's say for example here, hold down the command or control key and click again if I choose to do that. Now I tend not to move these handles at all. I like to keep them in a straight line because it keeps a nice curve. As soon as you start moving one or the other of the handle, you start to lose that curve. Now, on certain sections, you will need to do that. So let's just go over this section here. If I pull that up like that, you can see that all I need to do to create a slightly larger curve for this little bump is I'm going to hold down my Alter Option key. You can see my cursor changes to an arrow. Click and just pull out that handle there, and then click and then pull out that handle there. Now, if I want to go back and let's say move this marker here, hold down the Command or Control key, click, and then you can move just that particular marker. Then I'm going to click straight along here, then you can see we've got a curve, so I'm going to take it up to the end of the curve, click, hold down my command or control key, and move that curve. Now you can see in this section here, I'm going to need to cut this bit out. So once I finish going around the car, I'm going to go around and cut out all the sections, such as the windows, and show you how to add or delete areas to a selection. Now this is definitely a section where I need to use the handles. I'm not going to move them up or down, I'm just going to move this one out to create a better curve. Now for this one, you can see I've got a curve here, but then it continues to curve a little bit here. 
So I'm going to come to the end of this curve, but I'm going to click, but then I'm going to drag out as well so I can continue this curve. So I'll click in the middle here, move that up, and then just extend this one a little bit, and then come to the end here, and you can see that's continued that curve, and I haven't got a sharp edge between this curve here and the next section. Now here you, you can see we've got a curve leading into an opposing curve and the way I deal with that one is I come to the top of this curve, click and drag, then I go to the top of this curve, click and drag and then I can just make fine adjustments if I need to. You see we've got a handle missing here so I'm just going to hold down my command and control key, click on this marker and you can see it will reappear and then I can make an adjustment accordingly. Actually I just need to move that marker to there and then again this is a slight curve as well so we'll click in this area and move so that that curve extends on out. So I'm going to go to the end of this section here Which is around right here. There's a bit of a curve there and then click in the middle and just bring that up. And then there's a little bit of a curve here as well. Just making these fine adjustments will mean that you just don't have to do it at the end. You have to tidy it up with a brush. So when you finish your selection, you can see when you hover over that final connection, there will be a little circle next to your pen tool. Just click and now you've made that selection. So we haven't quite made the selection yet, but if you find that one of your markers is slightly out, you can always hold down the command or control key, click on that marker, and then you can just move it wherever you need to. Once you're happy with your selection, just right click, go down to make selection. Now when you make the selection you can feather it. Now very rarely are images pin sharp and that you'll need them at zero. I always put my selection between one and two pixels. This image is quite sharp so I can leave this at one pixel and you can see we've selected new selection. Go ahead and click OK and you can now see you've got the dotted line selection. Now before you go on from this I would highly recommend that you go to select and then you go down to save selection. Then just pop in a name here, I'll just click car and then click OK. That means that if you deselect it or you lose it you can go back up, so let's deselect it now, you can go back up to select you can go to load selection and then from your drop down select car and click OK and your selection will reappear and that means all the hard work you've just done will not be lost. So now we've got a few things to take out of this selection. The first being this item here. So we're still on the pen tool. So just make the selection around this element that you want to cut out. Then place the pen tool inside the selection, right click, make selection, but this time you want to subtract from selection and then I've got my feathering at 1 and click OK. And you can see now that it's subtracted it from the remainder of the section. So if I just add a layer and then paint over this with my brush tool you can see how that's cut that selection out. So now I'm going to go ahead and do exactly the same with the windows. You can leave this section in if you want to, these bars, or you can take them out. It's completely up to you. So I'm just going to go back to my pen tool and carry on with this selection.
Okay, so then go back up to select, go to save selection, click car again, click OK. So I can now copy this object. So make sure I've clicked on the background. Press command or control C and then command or control V. Let's just get rid of the background. And you can now see that we've isolated and cut out that object. And then if we click on background, go to solid color, and we can pick any color we like, and we can put it on a completely different background. Also, this gives you a good opportunity to check your selection to make sure there aren't any adjustments that need making. So it also means if you go to the move tool, make sure you're on the right layer, you can now move this object any way you like. So I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please like and subscribe and have a great day.